Hey, what's up everybody? Kim here with the first impressions, discussion and prediction of the um, first DLC of 2019. Um, I know that um, it's probably popular now to go around with a camera in the forest to look for suicide victims, so to just uh, film them and laugh about it there afterwards, but apparently I'm not a fucking sociopath. So, I'm gonna do this today. I'm gonna do this. But yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I'm not gonna talk about it. It's so fucking stupid. It's it's sad and stupid and I don't know. He's a dick. Anyway, what I think is gonna be uh, in the, this week's DLC, at least that's what we have had uh, the first week of uh, each year now, is that we have a themed pack. Like the last year we got the more metal pack and the year before that in 2016 we got the grunge pack if I'm not totally mistaken. I might be a little bit mistaken about that because I'm fairly certain that the grunge pack was in January at least in 2016 but I'm not sure if it was the first week. So my guess is that we're probably maybe gonna get some kind of themed pack like maybe an alternative pack maybe... Yes, a rock pack, punk pack maybe. It would be cool to get some more punk in the game. Um, we haven't gotten a lot of punk. Hmm. Uh, but anyway, if we're gonna get the more metal pack again, number two, then I'm pretty sure that we're gonna get some Avenged Sevenfold because that's uh, pretty much uh, uh, Harmonis' go-to uh, band when it comes to yeah. And uh, we we could also get some maybe we're gonna get some prog a prog pack, uh, gonna get some more dream theater maybe going get some more within Cambria would be good as well, but yeah that that's what I think I'm not gonna tell you which artists we're gonna get and stuff like that because uh, the only thing that I can think is that we might get a themed pack and uh, yeah it's uh, four o'clock now so let's uh, check it if. Spice, mm, spicy. Uh, this is uh, Depeche Mode. Enjoy the silence, which I have never heard. I I know about Depeche Mode or De Depeche Mode or whatever they're called. And the Go Go's, we got the beat. That's the rewind. Uh, Nat Natalie Imbruglia, Thorn. Well, I haven't really heard any of the songs except for the Go Go's. We got the beat because that's a rewind. Songs. I I don't know if it's a rewind song from Rock Band Two or I don't remember if it's Rock Band Three or whatever. But let's uh, take a look at the preview. Again, sorry about the loud. And of course, we're gonna start with this song that we already know about. Uh, the the bass shot looks pretty cool. Uh, and um, the drum shot looks okay. It's. Uh, I would call it solid thus far. Uh, there, there, there we got the uh, long break. Oh, oh, it's this song. Oh, this is Super Nineties, isn't it? And um, that seems really fast on uh, drums. And uh, we got some hammer-ons and single note changes on the guitar shards, and there's some so strong with hammer changes on the bass. This is the patch mode, yeah, for sure. The guitar chart looks very boring. Uh, drum chart looks actually a little bit interesting with the rolls and the uh, stops and stuff like that. And then there's some uh, slow old strumming, it seems, on the bass chart. So, if you like uh, old strumming, maybe this week, uh, the bass chart of this song at least. But yeah, Mike is gonna do the reviews whenever he can, so. That's uh, this week's DLC. I was pretty wrong. <laughs> but uh, what do you think about this uh, week's DLC? Make sure to tell us in the comments. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more of my content in the future. And um, don't be like Logan Paul. Just, just don't.